In the wearable space, an unwritten rule has developed in the past couple of years, smartwatches can aim at either the budget market or the luxury premium market, but smaller fitness band style trackers are almost exclusively budget products. This means brands usually put more effort into the design and construction of a smartwatch, using higher quality materials, while fitness brands are mostly plasticky affairs. Fitbit's looking to flip that script with the Fitbit Lux. It's a petite fitness band that, as the name implies, is built to be stylish and premium. Measuring just 1.43 by 0.7 by 0.4 inches and weighing so light it does not even register on my body scale, the Lux is one of the smallest trackers I've tested, this brings both good and bad, which I'll get to later. Here's what makes it Lux over other trackers, including previous ones from Fitbit, the body of the Lux is constructed out of stainless steel instead of plastic, it has rounded corners and edges that help it blend more seamlessly into the band, compared to the angular, slightly sharp corners of the Fitbit Charge 4. Fitbit designers were clearly going for the sophisticated jewelry vibe with the Lux, and it achieves that look, particularly if you buy the higher priced variant Special Edition Gorgiana Soft Gold model, which comes with a looped stainless steel chain, or purchase a separate first party designer strap such as the Horween Leather Double Wrap. The $150 base model, which is the one I tested, comes with a silicone strap which feels decidedly less premium. But the white, soft gold models still look rather stylish in my opinion. My unit, however, is the most bland one, black. The Fitbit Lux offers the usual sensors 3-axis accelerometer, optical heart rate sensor, red and infrared sensors to accurate track steps, workouts, sleep and blood oxygen levels. It does, however, lack an altimeter, GPS and NFC, so it won't be able to track stairs climbed or make digital payments. But perhaps these are understandable compromises for a tracker this tiny. Its petite size benefits me in a big way in that I can wear the tracker 24 hours a day and not be bothered by it. I can't say that about most smartwatches, which are too bulky for me to wear to sleep. Some even get in the way when I'm putting on long-sleeved shirts or trying to do push-ups. But that dainty size has drawbacks, the OLED display, while vibrant and sharp, is tiny at just 0.76 inches. This makes the text look cramped, and navigating the UI is slightly trickier because it's all done via swipes and taps. Despite Google's recent announcements that future Fitbit and Samsung wearables will run the search giant's Wear OS platform, the Fitbit Lux here, announced before that Google event, is still running on Fitbit's own software. For the most part, I'm fine with it. Fitbit's software is clean-looking, intuitive and unintrusive. 